Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. Sad news coming out of the basketball world today, man. Early this morning, just found out the NBA legend Dikembe Mutombo has passed away at the age of 58, man. He had brain cancer. All right, Pete, to him. Oh, my God, man. I couldn't believe this. I woke up. I said, what? Dikembe Mutombo, man. No, no, no. You know, he had that voice. I'm Dikembe Mutombo. African legend, man. I'm talking about, yo, he did his thing with the Hawks back in the days, man. Made everybody, everybody was waving their finger around like him, man. When he, when he block your shot. No, no, no. That's like, if you block somebody now in the NBA, if you wave your finger, that's who you giving props to, man. Because that was his thing right there. Shot blocking. Wave that finger, man. Finger was long as ever, too. Um, I think he probably had the, um, the, the, probably the best chance to win the NBA championship when he played with the 76ers back in the days, man. Him and um, Allen Iverson, they was doing their thing, man. They had a little squad back then. They ran into them damn Lakers, though. <clears throat> Also, when he played with the Nets, look at that squad right there. Kerry Kittles, Kmart, Jason Kidd, Mutombo, Richard Jefferson. They had a squad, man. Like, yo, and he, and he, wore that, he, he kept that 55, man, them double nickels. He was dope, man. He he wound up being the Hall of Famer, though, because y'all know. He was Mutombo. Y'all know Mutombo, man. I, I love that voice. I'm the Kimber Mutombo. That, that, like that, it was, you know, people make fun of it and stuff, man, but, yo, it was a legend, man. And it's like, the older we get, like, just seeing these people like him, man, pass away at an early age, too, man. He was nothing but 58 years old. Um, <clears throat> Y'all, I don't know, man. Just It's just crazy, man. Think about he had brain cancer. Like, you never know what people got, man, we're going through, man. Because you still seen him like he was still healthy and living his life. You seen him a couple years ago. It's just... Man, it, it's, it's crazy because we were just talking about this last Friday on the show, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about all type of things, man. Like the ghetto news, but we were just talking about a Friday. We were talking about the best jerseys that we ever had. And one of my favorite jerseys I ever had was the Nuggets jersey. Uh, the Kimbe Mutombo jersey. This one right here. I was just talking about it, man. How it had all the colors in it. And, yo, that was one of my favorite jerseys, man. But, yo, he did his thing, man. He also played in Juana, man, if y'all don't know that. If y'all ain't never seen that, he did his thing in that. I guess I ain't never seen Juana, man. I ain't gonna front, but... Damn, Dikembe. What else he do, man? I, he did commercials. What was that, a Geico commercial? When he's, um, that little boy was putting something in the um, basket, he went over there and swatted it. Pop! Just knocked it out the way into my soup. No, no, no. He, oh, well, he did his woman, too. She was trying to throw something in the dryer. No, no, no. Like, that's crazy. He played for the Rockets, too. That's why I think he had this um, jersey on right here that looked like the Rockets. <clears throat> I think it was, like, his last season. But, man, the Kimbe Mutombo. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, but they say that movie Air Up There, the Air Up There, was made because of him. Um, The old Kevin Bacon movie. They say it's between him and Hakeem Olajuwon, but... I don't know, man. It's, it's one of them Africans that came over here, man. And um, I think Dikembe Mutombo is from the Republic of Congo. The Congo. He had that voice, man. Yeah, man. That's a legend, man. All right, Peter Dikembe Mutombo, man. Look at him. He even got the finger up there right, right now, man. That was a legend, man. He was a beast. He was a legend. He was strong. He played a long time, too, man, because... Like, when he started playing for the teams like the Rockets and stuff, he was like, damn, he still playing? But he was still strong. He was in the paint hard, man. Like, you, you could not mess around with Matumbo. He was known for blocking shots. So, man, y'all seen y'all love him. Y'all condolences out to his peoples, man. Um, 58 years old, man. That's young. That's young, man. But he had brain cancer. So, man, I think this is what cancer awareness went around this time, too. So, yo. I send all y'all love and y'all condolences to him and his peoples, man, and everybody out there, man, and just live your, live your days the best you can, man, because you never know. You wake up one morning, you might find out that the Kimmy Mutombo has passed away, and that's what I did this morning. I'm like, damn, man, Mutombo. It's, it's like pop culture, man, hearing his name still because we didn't got old and people didn't forgot about people like that, man, him and Elijah Wan. Them Africans coming over here dominating. Dominating, man. Swatting everything, man. 
Rebounds. All right, people, Tumbo, man. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. And like I said, hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, notification bell, all them good buttons you got to hit to get this paper that I'm putting out when I put it out. Like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, and R.I.P. to Kim Bay Matumbo. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.